So solar, yeah, is the order of the day, and definitely uh, within our next discussion, I'll be able to give you much more detail. Talking graphite with Arno and Manny from Cartomic, uh, my question is for you, Arno, specifically regarding financing. What is the current state of cash for the company, and what are the cash requirements on the short to medium term? As a company, Cartomic has been blessed with probably some of the greatest shareholders in the world, um, you know, on a continuous basis. We, as a unit, make sure that the company can meet its capital requirements. We've been advancing money to the company for years. It's going to be no different going forward. You know, we always make sure that uh, whatever the capital requirements are, you know, we're bringing that forth on a continuous basis. I've had a lot of meetings with a lot of people over the last month. You know, we're bringing on a whole new face to Gritomic that is going to entirely change the way the world sees Gritomic as a company. From a board level, from a corporate level, we're really going to ante up in terms of, you know, what the corporate structure looks like. We're going to bring every single, every single department is going to be flushed up with an industry expert from finance, banking, institutional coverage, operational, Everybody is going to be top of his game, top of his department. And, uh, you know, as far as financing goes, it has been a tough market. Nobody can neglect that. We're getting out of it. The world looks to be a better place, uh, temporarily anyway. So, you know, with uh, good news will come, a reset will come a positive outcome in terms of share, pl- share price eventually. And uh, when the timing is right, we will strike and the institutions will start taking over the stock. There are major institutions buying the stock right now, which is fantastic news. They're great supporters and they will continue to support um, our en- en- endeavors. But um, yeah, for now, we're steering the course. Um, we continue to write checks as we should um, to make sure that we meet all our capital all right really happy to hear that some institutions are buying up the stock that's always uh, great news now perhaps you can talk about some numbers what does the current cash balance of the company look like roughly of course you can't go into too much detail and what is the expected cash burn on the short term so as a corporation we have three three tiers of capital burn you have to balance this because it can never be a consistent thing so you start at the top this is your ideal optimal you know burn when in full production or when in full cash position you have a mid-tier budget or mid-tier burn you know when you're sitting you know somewhat just over mcb and then you have a skeletal burn um which is just when the company sits just below mcb and uh ultimately right now you know it's no surprise, you know, we're all writing checks. We're close to MCB, which means we're in skeletal burn. You know, we can run the company for, you know, probably about 160 bucks a month and 160 grand. A month. That's fairly reasonable for a company of this size. You know, we've got great number of employees across the entire company. We've got great industry experts. Um, Brazil is about 15 grand. Namibia is about 100 grand. And ultimately, Canada, you know, core staff in Canada is minimum. It's it's really just a few operational guys, CFO, CEO, head of operations, uh, controller. Most officers and chair and directors defer payment or receivables as far as they need to because that's our responsibility. All right, perfect, thank you. And Manny, we've previously had a talk regarding solar and how big of an influence that has on uh, the economics of Arkham. Perhaps you can dive into this balance between the cost it will take versus the reward it will bring Cortomic in the long term to go solar at Arkham. Yes, I can. Uh, the numbers are not fixed as yet uh, because we also still investigating the potential and the size that we can build. Uh, that depends on, on the area, that depends on wind and it depends on sun. So we, we're looking into it, but we, we definitely have, if we um, balance that the fuel against the uh, solar system, we look at the uh, 45% startup uh, reduction in cost and that will take improvement in size and uh, we will still manage or will have to run the diesel units in, in line with uh, the building of the solar system and ultimately when there's a full takeover of the solar we will then be able to make the final uh, numbers on that we are working on it and uh, obviously that's the way forward it's, it's a green project it's got lots of potential it's also uh, will benefit the community and everybody in the surrounding so uh, the bigger picture of it is is still in the discussion and uh, the numbers still needs to be finalized but yes it, there is no option in it that's a way to go forward because uh, as we said in in the market today 
day everybody realized that uh, petrol and diesel and uh, paraffin and all those prices are just hiking upwards, 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 and we're not sure what's going to happen. Obviously, our friends, uh, I'm not going to name countries, are not making it easy for us. In, in that respect, the solar yeah, is the order of the day and definitely uh, within our next discussion I'll be able to give you much more detail once we finalize the, the size of the project.